but at least we've now seen a male turkey while turkey hunting this year and heard a lot of gobbles this morning so i think we're getting warmer yes! Hey, what's up everybody? This is Zach with the Iowa Plainsman Outdoors. Today is the first weekend of fourth season turkey hunting. Um, I'm gonna go pick up Andy right now. Real quick, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything I'm gonna have going on this year. Um, you don't wanna miss any of the action. But I'm gonna go pick up Andy, and we're gonna go get out of the field right now. Uh, 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 uh. All right, well, uh, Andy and I went to a place that we have not been to for turkey hunting yet. Um, we didn't go here during second season. Got here a little bit late. Um, the spot that we wanted to go to, someone else is already in, but that happens, it's public land. Um, we were running a little bit behind, so that's what we get. Um, so we kind of made a hasty plan B, um, and there, was, there have been gobbles all around us in the morning, but I don't think we set up. Um, with much of a plan so at least it's good to be you know to hear gobbles in this spot i scouted it out after second season and looked like you know looked like it was good habitat so it's nice to know at least there's several gobblers in the area we heard some hens this morning and stuff like that too um and it's still like not even seven o'clock yet so we're just we're just gonna hang out here for a while see what happens and we're gonna see if we can see some turkeys so we decided to go for a little walk up to this flooded creek and there's fish uh, thinning right at the surface all over the place here so what we think happened this morning I think there were turkeys gobbling from that patch of trees there's some trees off to our left we heard at least one turkey gobbling from and then kind of off in the distance over there i think we heard yet another gobbler however most of them be hung up by this flooded creek and there's quite a bit more field out this way than where we were sitting at for them to be strutting a little bit ago we had let our guard down and uh we're kind of talking probably a little too loud. A turkey busted us from behind. Um, just turn around in time to see him running away. So, that figures. Andy spotted a tom turkey. It was across this creek. I think that creek is an inhibitor for us. Um, but at least we've now seen a male turkey while well, turkey hunting this year and heard a lot of gobbles this morning so i think we're getting warmer as far as where we should be hunting so that's good um but that creek is just we have to figure out a way to get across it we really can't drive up too close to it um so we want to haul a kayak to it um we're thinking we might bring our waders out next time we come out and cross that creek and get into the very large expanse of field over there so i think they were roosting up in some of the trees by the field and now see they're, they're strutting over there but we got to figure out a way to get across that creek and right now it's kind of gorged Andy and i did some driving around to look at some hunting spots uh we found a little bit but uh, we came upon one of our hunting spots that we duck hunt at sometimes and it's we recently had a lot of rains and it's flooded it back up and it's full of carp and gar and andy thinks he might be able to catch one by hand so we're gonna see if Andy can catch a carp by hand. There's a guard by your left foot. No, he's swimming away from you. Okay. At least he 
case he decided to take a chunk out of me. Thanks.